Ugh. What's up everyone? I am very tired right now, but this is a video I've had planned for a little bit, so I feel like I needed to get it done. And what's the best way to get something done? By actually doing it. As you can see, I'm wearing my Batman shirt, and I think that's going to be a big thing because I feel like I'm going to be a hero right now because I'm going to save you guys a bunch of time. I'm here to save the day when it comes to this YouTube thing. Everyone wants to be a YouTuber now, and I figured, hey, what can I do to actually help these people become YouTubers? So in this video, I'm going to be telling you all the equipment that you absolutely need if you want to become a YouTuber. Now the first piece of equipment that every beginner needs when they're wanting to start YouTube is a camera. Now it doesn't really matter what camera you use as long as you have something that can record yourself. I use the Canon EOS R and the Canon EOS RP. This is the Canon EOS RP. I'm recording on the on the, I'm recording on the Canon EOS R right now. Both of these cameras help me get everything I need done when it comes to this YouTube thing. My specific niche is video and photography, so both of these cameras help me get everything I need to do done. Yeah, they're, they're, I, I, I'd say they're pretty good cameras. Highly recommend. If you want to take a look at them, uh, link in the description below. But like I said, it doesn't really matter what kind of camera you have as long as you have something that you can use to record yourself. You can use cameras like the ones I use or you can use something like a phone. Anything that you can use to actually record yourself is going to help you become a YouTuber. So having a camera is going to be the most basic piece of equipment that you can have when you want to become a YouTuber. And trust me, I know it's very tempting to want to get the most expensive camera you can find that does the best type of video, but when you're first starting out, not everyone is going to have that type of money. So the best thing you can do is just use anything you can to actually record yourself. That is why a lot of people start off using their phones and build from there. Trust me, phones nowadays have just as much capability of getting a great video than an expensive $5,000 camera. So keep that in mind when you want to start building a YouTube channel. The second piece of equipment that I want to talk about that I feel that everyone needs when they want to become a YouTuber is a very good lens for their camera. Now if you're somebody that is using your phone, you're not going to really need to add any attachments or any types of lenses to this camera because the lens itself is going to be wide enough and get all the angles that you need. However, if you have cameras like the ones I have, you're really going to need specific types of lenses so that you can get the exact shots that you want for your YouTube channel. Now it doesn't matter what type of channel you're going to make. If you're going to have any videos where you're sitting in front of the camera and talking like this, you're going to want a lens that gets a pretty wide angle. Now what types of lenses are these? These are the lenses that are smaller in millimeters. So for example, you can have a 200 millimeter lens or you can have a 16 millimeter lens. The 200 millimeter lens is going to be very zoomed in and get very close up to the subjects. A 16 millimeter lens isn't going to be nearly as zoomed in and it's going to get a lot more of the scene itself. So that type of lens is going to get a much wider angle for what you're trying to shoot. For example, the lens I'm using right now is a 16 to 35 millimeter lens. This is a perfect lens for when I'm filming videos like this. It allows me to use different focal lengths for different types of shots that I want to get. However, every focal length that I use on this lens is still relatively wide compared to my other lens that I like to use a lot, which is the 50 millimeter. So you need to keep that in mind. If you're somebody that's going to sit down in front of the camera, you don't want a lens that's going to be very zoomed in on your face and you're not going to be able to see anything around you. You want a lens that's a wide angle and can actually show the scene around you so that there's a bit more breakup in everything that your viewer is seeing. For example, you're not going to want to watch a video where this is a close up of my face the entire time. You're trying to be informed of some information, so you want to see me in a relaxed setting and the only way to do that is to actually see the setting around me. Plus, if I was just up close to the lens all the time, it's just not going to be a good look. And personally, I feel like if you're just zoomed in on somebody's face the entire time for a video, you're just going to make the viewer slightly uncomfortable and they're never going to want to watch your videos anyway. The third piece of equipment that I feel every beginner needs when they're trying to start a YouTube channel is a microphone. Yes, most cameras you use nowadays are going to have a built-in microphone that you can use, but having an external microphone is going to be something that comes in handy for every video that you record. The sound quality of your video is going to be a huge determining factor on whether or not somebody stays and actually watches your video. For example, right now this is the built-in microphone in the Canon EOS R. I unplugged the microphone so the sound is probably a little different, it's not nearly as crisp, it might not sound terrible but it could sound a lot better. 
Now when I plug the microphone back in now, as you can tell the volume of the sound may not be any different, but the quality of that sound is much better. So if you want a good external microphone, I'll put a link to a few in the description below. Now there are always going to be multiple types of microphones that you can choose from. For example, the one I primarily use plugs into the camera and sits directly on top of the camera. There are other ones that plug into the camera, but the microphone itself actually attaches to a piece of your clothing that you can use. Or you can have microphones like this that are just super long and yeah, they're just, they're just big. Great, great sound, but you know, there, there's only so many uses that you can have for this. Uh, this is a microphone that I use when I'm creating courses for video and photography. So yeah, uh, be on the lookout for those too. Uh, full dare to capture courses on photography and videos if you wanna become a better videographer or photographer. The fourth piece of equipment that I feel is needed for YouTube videos is a tripod. Now a tripod is something that I recommend for everybody that uses a camera. It doesn't matter what you're using your camera for, you're gonna need a tripod at some point, I guarantee it. If you're making videos like this where you're just sitting in front of a camera talking to it, more than likely you're gonna need a tripod to hold the camera up. If you're somebody that is walking around vlog style holding the camera out in front of you, then more than likely you're still gonna be using some sort of tripod to actually hold the camera out in front of you. Trust me, nobody's gonna like seeing your videos if they're all shaking the entire time because you're trying to hold a camera just by itself without any stabilization. Now a lot of cameras have built in stabilization, but it's not nearly gonna take away all the shake from a video. So you really need to keep that in mind when it comes to the videos that you're making. You wanna have as little shake as possible in your videos. And one way to almost ensure that you have minimal shake is using a tripod for everything that you're doing. Especially when it comes to videos like this when it's just you and the camera. The fifth piece of equipment that I highly recommend for a lot of YouTubers is to get an external light. Having an external light source is gonna ensure that you have some sort of light and at least decent lighting no matter where you're filming. For example, I have a main light source right here. You can't see it obviously because it's out of frame, but it's right there and it's shining directly on me and hence why you have a good view of me. If I turn this light source off, as you can tell, it's not nearly the same. You can't see me nearly as well as you were. So let me turn it back on. Give a camera in a second to adjust. All right, yes. Lighting is gonna be one of the most important factors when it comes to any video. If your audience can't see you or they can't see you very well or they don't see the details that you're explaining in your video, then they're just gonna be turned off and go on to the next video. When it comes to these other lights that you see around me, these are just accent lights that just highlight the area that I'm in. These are things that aren't actually needed when it comes to filming a video. However, I feel that having these types of lights are only gonna to add to your video in the end. But if I didn't have any of these lights on, but I still had this main light source on me, everything would be fine because the information I'm presenting to you is gonna be good information that you wanna hear. This just might be a scene that isn't nearly as interesting to look at. Now, if you're somebody that's only gonna be using natural light when it comes to filming, that's gonna be something that is completely different. When it comes to natural lighting, it can be somewhat difficult to actually work with because you don't control the actual light source. Natural lighting, you have to work with the weather that's presented to you. When you're working with artificial light, you're controlling everything. You control the position of that light, you control how strong that light is, and if need be, you can move that light around to get the lighting exactly where you want it to be. When you're filming outside and in natural light, you're not gonna have the luxury of changing that light. The only thing you can do is move around and hope that you have some shadows that can take away some of the harshness of that light because filming outside is something that can be a little bit too much when you're filming your videos. Yes, it's possible to have too strong of a light for your videos. So for example, I'm gonna turn up my main light source here, to very bright, it's not very bright right now, but when I turn it up very bright, you're gonna see exactly how too much light can actually affect the shot that you're trying to get. So as you can see, very bright. The camera does need a little bit of time to adjust, but even when it does adjust, everything else around me, the accent lights that I have in the background, just isn't, they're not right. Nothing. Everything about the scene itself changes because of how bright this main light source is. So let me turn this back down. Oof. Camera's good. Yeah, all right. See, so when I turn the light source back to where it was, as you can see, everything else looks back to normal actually. So that's something else you really need to keep in mind as a YouTuber. You don't want a light source that's too bright because it's only gonna take away from the scene that you're trying to shoot in. And that is the dangers that you need to be aware of if you're only using natural light. Hence why I always recommend that you have your own external light sources at your disposal. 
Now my final piece of equipment that I feel is needed for all YouTubers is editing software. If you don't have any editing software, then you can't make a good video. To me, it's just that simple. It doesn't matter what editing software you use, you can use a free one, you can use one that's very expensive. If you don't have something where you can edit your footage, then you're not gonna have a good video. There's gonna be times when you wanna add some cool effects like this or certain effects like this to your videos, and if you can't do that, you're gonna have a video that isn't nearly as interesting. Now you might be somebody that can talk in front of a camera for minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes at a time without messing up or having any kind of pauses, but if you have a video where it's just you and the camera for 30 something minutes without any breaks in the action, then I would say that the video isn't gonna be nearly as good as it probably could be. So you need to have some sort of editing software where you can put your footage in and make the exact video that you wanna make. I personally use Final Cut Pro, and if you wanna check that out, there'll be a link in the description below but there's other types of editing software out there that you can use. I personally wouldn't say that there's a right or wrong editing software that you can use when it comes to making a YouTube video. As long as you have a software that can give you the video that you wanna make, then I recommend you use that. There might come a time on your YouTube journey where you feel like you might need to have more from your editing software, and that's when you can look into getting different types of editing software, but as long as you have something that's basic and you can do little basic things like cut different types of footage together, then that's all you really need to make a decent YouTube video. So yeah, any type of editing software where you can put all your footage together and make the video that you wanna make is gonna be something that is absolutely needed for anybody wanting to start on YouTube. There you have it, that's it. That's all the pieces of equipment that I feel is absolutely needed when you wanna start a YouTube channel. Now when you wanna start a YouTube channel, it's gonna be very intimidating, but all I can recommend is you just start. Just start, get a video out, get the first one out, then the second one becomes easier, then the third one becomes easier, and everything becomes easier from there. If you're looking to start a YouTube channel and you have any questions for me, please leave a comment below, because I'm willing to answer any questions out there. If I have the answers, I'll let you know. If I don't have the answers, I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. So, what, what's there to lose? Just leave a comment below. If you found this video useful and it's something that you feel that other people could use, hit that like button. And since you're hitting that like button, you might as well hit the subscribe button as well because when you hit that subscribe button, that's only gonna help me help more people that I wanna help. And there we have it. Hope you're still staying safe and I will catch you in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.